termite Teddy here. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm looking at this camera. And that one's got me, right? Don't matter. Doesn't matter? Yeah. I look good on all of them. <laughs> just, just don't look at his camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this on? Yeah, hello. Term, termite Teddy here, and we're here to talk about termites today. That's perfect. I love it. I'm just going <laughs> to use it, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is Jeff with the Pest Rangers, and this is Ted. Let's talk about some surprising places where you wouldn't expect termites to be. The White House. Statue of Liberty. So, one thing that we get every year is somebody calls and they say, I have these ants. I get them every year and they fly and then they go away because my husband sprays raid on them. They get the can of raid out, spray them. They only come back every spring. My husband takes care of it. They're not ants. They're termites. termites. Yep. Yeah, that's common. We get that that's quite very a bit. It, it is. And it's another year of termites eating their house. True story. My father had them at his house and he did that. In the laundry room, he'd get them. But I, honestly, I, I would go down to his basement, I couldn't find any mm -hmm. signs of termites in the house whatsoever. And But he'd get swarmers, so they were there. And he'd spray raid and they'd go away, and, and he thought he was the hero. <laughs> he was. <clears throat> yeah, you hear that all the time. Yeah. Sometimes you don't see the damage. Sometimes They're inside a wall, but they're there. The swarmers are present, termites are present. You Sometimes have people don't even see the swarmers. I had a swarm in my backyard. An old tree stump and the birds came down. There were so many birds in my yard. They were eating them. It was actually pretty cool. It was coming out of the tree stump like a, like a water fountain. Biggest thing to look for in termite season is, is swarms. If you see a swarm of, we call them flying ants, give us a call. It's always good to have it checked out. It doesn't cost you anything. Send a picture in. Let us identify it. Uh, termites uh, cause a lot of damage. It's your number one investment. Your home is your number one investment. And it's amazing. People will pay $35, $40 a month to have a, an Se alarm system. Alarm security. And if your home is broken into, your homeowner's insurance covers it. But termites are not covered under homeowner's insurance and could do thousands and thousands of dollars in damage. Termites do more damage to homes than natural disasters. They do. They do. We usually see people, you, you don't even know you have them. They go to redo a bathroom, um, they open up a wall, and they find That's them. That's when they come across them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, termite treatments, there's, there's two ways to go about it. You have liquid treatments and you have bait treatments. Both are effective. Uh, you know, your liquid treatment, we use Termidor, uh, which is the leading termiticide on the market right now. Uh, and then as far as bait goes, we use a Centricon baiting system. Which is around the, the White House, down in Washington, D.C. It it's around the White House. It's around the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. I believe it's around the Liberty Bell. Uh, a lot of your national monuments and famous places have Centricon installed. If you're ever walking around a building and you see a little green <coughs> circle, or you're walking down the street. You know, it was amazing. I was just in New Orleans, and you walk down the streets in New Orleans, and you see silver caps everywhere. I can't believe how many places have Centricon in New Orleans. In termites, well, down south, the sandy soil lungs, they just thrive. But they drill through, like, the brick. So you have, like, brick sidewalks, and they're core drilling and dropping a station. And they, it, well, you got to get to the soil under the concrete. Yep. Pretty neat. Same as we would do here. Only, only we notice that stuff. Though. Nobody else, they're like, what's that silver thing? Yeah. It's weird when you do pest control, you notice different things. Well, springtime is uh, <clears throat> usually when the, the termites start to swarm. The weather starts warming up. The grounds are thawed, thawed out. The colony's grown under there, and, and they're releasing their, their offspring. They, they want to go start new colonies. In a, so usually springtime, especially, especially once you get that first real hot humid day right after a rainfall it just makes the ground pop they're coming alive they're coming out that's when we see you see majority of your activity starting in the springtime i mean we deal with them year round your swarmers and everything is you're gonna they could start as early as april may march we had them in march 
depending on the weather, is when they're when they pop. After a good rain, you get a thunderstorm and it's humid. They'll thunderstorm, pop. yeah. That's what I said. After you get that warm, humid day after rainfall, their termites are really seem like they get really active, mm -hmm. want to go. For the swarmers, especially. And you only get that. There's like a small window. It could be a month time, two to three weeks. But that's they swarm and then they then they go away. And, and that's why people think that their problem went away is because they don't ever see them again. Swarm comes out, spray the raid. They actually didn't do anything. Maybe killed a couple of the swarmers, but uh, they're gonna die anyway. More than likely, only one out of ten of them, or one out of a hundred, is only gonna survive. Yep. Yeah. If you ever come home around the furnace, is big. You'll see big uh, shed wings, like a translucent wing. Uh, you see it on this uh, a window sill where there's just a bunch of wings and yeah. no bodies. As they're coming out, they're just the wings are falling off them. There's just so many trying to come out that little hole at once. Mm -hmm. Wings are falling. You find them crawling, and then they're heading to the door. They're heading for the, a window. They they see the daylight and they want to go. Everybody thinks they're ants. They spray, vacuum them up, clean, and then the next day they're gone. They solved their issue, but they did not. They're termites, and they're still there. They're still active, and they're eating your home. We tell them it's like a car warranty. You keep the warranty for so long, eventually, yes, you are going to pay for the treatment again. But what they don't think of is refinancing the home. And we've come across that quite a bit where people say, well, I don't plan to move. Um, I'm not going to move anytime soon. I plan to be here for the next 10 years. But then three years down the line, they decide to refinance the home. When you refinance your home, a termite inspection needs to be completed. That lender is going to require a termite inspection. No other inspection but a wood destroying. Uh, so they're going to come in, they're going to look for carpenter ants, carpenter bees, wood destroying beetles, and termites. termites. Uh, whether it was treated or not, they're going to mark it that there's signs of termites. Uh, you then need to provide the bank with paperwork that you have a valid warranty. If the warranty has expired, they will make you get it treated again. And that's a, that's a misconception. <laughs> a lot of people do not think about that. Never say never when you're going to refinance your home. You don't know the rates fluctuate and sometimes it's in your favor to refinance or somebody's going to college or you're going to do something, whatever. Um, stay on the warranty. Stay on the warranty. We always, we always educate our clients that, you know, if you ever think that you're going to move or you're going to refinance, it's a good idea to keep it. Whether you do or you don't, it's your decision. And it's called the golden ticket. Keep this the what your... golden ticket. Golden ticket. Keep this when we do a termite treatment. Keep this what your home records. Because you ever go to sell or refinance, you need proof that there was treatment. Yep. Now, if you don't have, like you said, Jeff, a keep up on the warranty, you go to refinance two years down the road, that bank's going to recommend you retreat it. Even if there's no live insects found. As long as they see any type of damage or tubing, previous damage, it could be old damage, if there's no live insects found, that bank doesn't care. They're, that's their investment. They're giving you thousands and thousands of dollars. It could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. They want to make sure that they're, they're covered, that doesn't fall down. Yeah, and we've, we've had a few clients that had a treatment, let it expire, and then I can think of one that just happened. I, I mean, just did I just did one we in just the did fall one. right down. Yeah, in, in we treated Florida. it about three years ago, uh, well over $1,000. They let the warranty expire, and then they decided to sell their home, and it got dinged in an inspection again. Now, it was treated. We know it was treated, but they did not keep up the warranty. We can't produce paperwork for the missed years, so there was a two-year lapse, I believe. Right. So they had to pay to have the treatment done again. Bank wanted to retreat it. Mm -hmm. So they're fifteen hundred dollars when it could have maybe cost them ten percent of the job. Yeah, one hundred and fifty dollars. It cost them fifteen hundred because they didn't stay with the warranty. And that's a banking rule. Yeah, that's not a. That's that's the lenders. The lenders, lenders want. They want to make sure they're giving you money for something that is not going to fall down because of an insect. Mm -hmm. So we've done hundreds of termite treatments. One of the first ones we did was in Breslau, Hanover Township. And when we went into the basement of the house, you could actually hear the termites chewing. That's how many termites were in there. And I, I stood down there and I'm like, listen to that. And the termite tubing was as thick as this cup in the corners. There was that many termites in there. And that house was flooded in 1972, and the client was remodeling a bathroom, opened up a wall, and found the damage. And never thought when he was downstairs, like, what is this? Uh, it was kind of like a concrete, dirt-ish 
basement. They destroyed this house. And we've been in some places that they're destroyed. Com I mean, completely destroyed. Uh, we just did an inspection, an old house out in Dalton, Pennsylvania. Our inspector actually told the buyer, like, you need to get a structural engineer in here. This is beyond, we can't give any structural advice, but just looking at the basement, it's not good. So Let somebody take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen some really bad stuff. And what it is is people, you know, you have people that are in their homes for 30 years. They may have had it inspected 30 years ago and they just don't think of it again. Uh, but it is always good to bring somebody in. Hey, could you come take a look? I'm a little concerned. Right. Uh, big misconception, uh, you know, hey, my neighbor has termites. Are they going to push them over to my house? Doesn't happen. Everything's a non-repellent these days. So when they're treating, you might even kill the termites around your house. And you don't know where that colony's living under the ground. The colony could be actually feeding on your house, could be underneath the, the house, five five houses down the street. There's little sub colonies all over and, and uh, the most secretive insect in the world, a termite, it really is. They say a termite queen could what, lay, lay like an egg every second. That's a lot, hundreds and hundreds of thousands under the ground. And when they come up to feed on your house, which they will, say two types of houses have termites ones that have them and the ones that are going to get them. Thanks for watching our videos today. Have you visited our blog yet? Ted doesn't even know how to spell blog. Yeah, P-L. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> What's the difference between a blob, a blob and a blog? Ted, let's not go there, Ted. I Nothing just, scares Ranger Ted. No, Ted can deal with anything. I, it doesn't matter. Fun facts about insects. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They sprayed their essential oils and they're gone like that. Essential oils. <laughs> <laughs> Threw down some cinnamon. So we had a competition <clears throat> here. It's between Ted and Bill. And people don't realize that when they click on photos on Google, we get to see who gets the most clicks. And this month, Bill won. Teddy is upset. Could you please help Teddy? Until I go home and click away. Term, termite Teddy here, and we're here to talk about termites today. That's perfect. I love it. Ted is very upset that Bill had more likes on his photo on Google than Ted. I don't understand. I mean, hello. What's your favorite bug? What kind of bug would you want to be if you're ever reincarnated? Incarnated. Is that what they call it? Reincarnated? Reen yeah. Reincarnated, Ted. What would you want to be? This is a good one. Hmm. I don't know. I have to think about it. Come on. Maybe a fly so I can annoy some people. Huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good one. Maybe a bee, you know, chase some people around. That'd be a bed bug just so I could be lazy and lay in a comfortable bed all day. That's a weird question, right? What would you want to, what kind of bug would you want to be? Comment in the section below. No, it's we get asked, we get asked a lot. The two most common questions we're asked when we walk into a bar is, can you take care of my wife? And do you treat for crabs? <laughs> Honest to God, those are the two, like we get that all the time. When you get that client on the phone and he said, do you know what kind of bee it is? No, I don't know. Okay. Could you look a little closer and see if it has a tool belt? If it has a tool belt, it's a carpenter bee. <laughs> the ones that do better work carry an actual hammer. The pneumatic stuff, if, it, if you see the airline, it's flying around, it's got an airline. It's don't hire those guys. 